Welcome back Trinidad and Tobago. Well, it's time for our first Tobago segment, and we're talking to Jean Lyons. She's a jazz singer, and she would have performed in jazz on Sunday night, and she'll be sharing her experience with us. Just to give you some background information, uh, in 1978, she was a background singer for Michael Jackson when he performed on a German TV show. She also did backup for Luther and Mariah when they appeared on the show. So it's our pleasure to have her joining us from Tobago. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. So my Thank first, you. So my first question to you, for those of us who may not really be too familiar with your music, how would you describe yourself as an artist? Who is Jean Lewis? Jean Lyons? Sorry, Jean Lyons. <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I'm from Monterey, St. Tobago. I grew up there. And uh, I went to Europe uh, about the 1970s. And uh, I started um, singing, just, you know, singing little, in little groups, the little groups, you know. And, uh, yeah, I went into tourism at one time and sang on the side, just like that. And then, then about 19... Oh, uh, 90, I started singing professionally, really, and yeah. So, the science, what genres of music uh, have you done before? What, what, sorry? What genres of music? Gospel, pop, that sort of thing? Yeah, well, I was, uh, yeah, at the beginning I was soul and pop music, and then I got into, in about 1993, I started doing gospel. I did it on, on the side before, but um, I was uh, just uh, singing soul and uh, pop and so on. And uh, then I got into gospel. Then I started doing jazz, really, you know, and blues, which is what I really like to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are some of your most thrilling experiences as an artist? Uh, singing uh, as a background singer to Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine, yeah. I, I, I never thought, I, you know, I thought it was a dream. Actually, I thought the person who called me, he was uh, just um, playing with me or something, you know. And I almost didn't go for the rehearsal <laughs> because I didn't believe it was true. Someone recommended me, and uh, yeah, there I was. And even though everything was happening, and I, I saw him, and shook hands with him, I, I, I still didn't believe. <laughs> what did that experience do for you as a, as a young artist at that time? Oh, it, well, it was special because it was something that, like, it, I, I always asked myself if I was dreaming or so. Well, it was Michael Jackson and then Mariah Carey with Luther Vandross and... Uh, Elton John and things like that. After that, they were calling me all the time to back up such singers that came to Germany. You sound as though you had a very exciting career thus far. Yes. Could you yes. take us through a little journey? How was it for you? What were some of the challenges you faced? Oh, um, challenges that, uh, well, I'd say at the beginning, I, I considered myself a singer, but... Um, I didn't think that I was singing so that good, you know. And um, people started telling me, you know, you should continue. There were times when I thought I'd just forget the whole thing. <laughs> but um, then I continued and I realized I was having a bit of success. And so I continued and continued and, and people started asking me to sing here and there and everywhere, in Switzerland, in Austria. In Italy, I've been to all those places. I've joined a big gospel group that is quite um, very famous, the Jackson Singers. And um, I, I started with them doing really deep gospel. Wow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then, then right now, um, the, the group um, went apart after the guy who founded that group um, died. And then they formed a new group I came on holidays, and that agent called me from Switzerland. I was quite surprised because she never had my number at home. Someone gave it to her, and she asked me if I would come back. 
So I'm the only old Jackson singers in the new form group now. Yeah. Very exciting. Do you write your own music as well? Well, earlier times, but not anymore, you know. I sing other, other people write for me and I sing their music, you know. I'm just contented with that, you know. And uh, if I can sing some more for my people here in Trinidad and Tobago, I'd be very happy about that. <laughs> what message do you hope to impart to those who listen to your music? Well, I, I would say um, when you, if you like singing and or you like any form of art work here, uh, you should just go ahead and always keep singing, keep moving, keep be on the ball. <laughs> what would you say was the, the uh, success, the, the reason for your success story? Well, I would put God in front. <laughs> yes. You know, without him, I, I, I don't think, I don't know where I'd be today. <laughs> And uh, for those who are you know, looking on, thinking that music, it's not yeah. really a gainful sort of job when it comes to employment and you know, yes, earning. And things like that. I must say that while I was in the tourist, um, uh, while I was working with tourist offices and bureaus, my last um, job I had was with Air Zimbabwe in Frankfurt. And um, I... I left my job and uh, well because of some issues and uh, and then um, I tried getting other jobs and uh, you know at times when you get a certain age you 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 tend to not have the chances like when you were younger <laughs> so I said you know what Jean what are you doing I, God gave you a, a voice to sing and so I started singing at the beginning it was kind of bitter but uh, I made it <laughs> And where are you currently in your musical career? Um, well, with jazz, you know, just jazz and blues is what I'm, I'm doing now. And, of course, I do gospel, which comes first. And, but um, I'm just, uh, you know, going on tour when I go back. And in June, I'm going next month here. Yeah. So that's well, about it. <laughs> How would you describe the state of jazz currently in Trinidad and Tobago? I think it's grand, you know, mm -hmm. and I must say that I sang with a group on Sunday night that was out of the world. Mm -hmm. I was just, it was just fantastic. So what was your experience like uh, on Sunday night? On Sunday night, it was really nice, I, much better than I thought. <laughs> um, you know, those, those guys, they, they gave me such a um, power. They, 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 you know, that it made me just open up, you know, because actually I didn't even know them before, but they are such fantastic musicians. I've played with real great people in Europe, but, you know, I think they can compete with anyone, <laughs> any crew. And coming from Tobago, which makes me very proud. What are your thoughts on the manner in which the entire show was produced and organized? It was really fantastic. All organized. It was, everything was just in place. Great. Well, that's really good to know. What are your closing yes. comments? What would you like to say to those looking on? Well, I would like to say that uh, there could be, it could be about in two, maybe a year or two, I'd like to be staying longer in Tobago and to, I'd like to give something of what I have to those young people. I'd like to see some young girls and boys singing those old jazz songs from those black people who passed on years ago, like um, uh, Sarah Vaughan, Diana Washington, Billie Holiday, and so on. I'd like to help some girls and boys. I'd like to have some class and like to talk to them about my experience and to at least give them some advice as to how to go about that they may not have so, uh, such challenges like I had because I was alone and I was quite young that time. <laughs> Great. Well, I mean, we, we can't end this interview without asking you to sing perhaps a couple lines from any song of your choice as we close this interview. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, let me see. Georgia, 
We'd like to take this opportunity to thank you so much for taking the time My to be pleasure. part of our show. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> 